going on guys we just got the first mod for the durango i ordered some uh, headlights we just got them in today the swap is uh not as easy as uh like if i were on the tahoe where i just got to remove the two pins holding the headlights and pull them out on these you have to remove the whole grill the whole bumper uh, it's gonna turn out sick i got them smoked This is a trim removal tool set that I'll be using to remove all the fasteners and whatnot. The scotch tape so I can tape up the edges. But I don't want to damage the paint when I'm installing or removing. The smoke headlights, let me know what you guys think. That's the standard one, the chrome clear that it currently has. I'll be swapping out these. I was looking at the DRL type uh, headlights for these, the Durangos, but they were pretty pricey at 500 bucks. So I just got these for now. So I'll be swapping that right now. I think it's gonna come out badass. I'm gonna time lapse the whole thing, but I'll still be explaining what the process is on removing like all the trim, what you need to do to get to those headlights. You'll need to remove this trim piece. You just snap it off. Once you snap that off, you're gonna start removing the pins right here. And then you're gonna get to that screw. Once you get to that screw, you can start snapping off your, your bumper. I'm gonna tape this area first so I don't damage the paint. Once you remove your bumper, you'll get to the grill, remove the grill, and then you'll have access to your headlights. So yep, let's get started on this uh, how-to. And it's the first mod for the Durango. So let me know what you guys think. What else I should do to this one. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it simple since it's the wife's daily. Okay, I already painted the areas where I didn't wanna risk uh, damaging the paint on both sides. You don't have to do this, but that's just me being extra. Once you remove the, the trim, you're gonna remove two screws. There's a seven millimeter screw, screw down here, and then another seven millimeter right here. Once you remove that, You'll have access to the fog light so you can unhook it. So when you remove your bumper, you don't risk damaging the wires. All right guys, I got both trims uh, removed. They're over here. I got this side removed as well. What I do from there is just uh, work my way on the side of the bumper. On snap it, uh, you gotta do that very careful that you don't wanna damage the paint or the bumper itself. So you just unsnap all the way across until you remove the bumper. Move that out of the way, you work your way on the grill, and then you'll get to the headlights. So I'll show you guys those steps. All right guys, I already removed the bumper. It's over here, so it doesn't get scratched up. That's the, the next thing that we need to do is remove these uh, fasteners. There's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fasteners that run all the way up to the to the corner. And there's some more on this side. Remove those. And then you gotta remove these two 10 millimeter uh, bolts that hold up the grill. Once you get that out of the way, you'll have access to the headlights. Okay, 
Okay, we got everything removed. Now we can get to the headlights. It's got three 10 millimeter bolts. One on top. One right here. And one behind this. And that's it. Let's remove those. This is like a quick release uh, plastic piece. You don't want to break that. So you just lift up, remove the bolt. That's all the trim pieces that I need to remove just to get to the headlights. You gotta be very careful that you don't break anything, especially your bumper. bumper and grill. But yeah, I mean, it's not too bad, but it'll be worth it once you get the new headlights in place so let's take out these old headlights so we can put in the new ones and this tool right here whenever you're removing trim pieces uh, dashboard inside interior pieces or whatever get yourself this kit and it'll save you a lot of headaches and it'll save you some money you don't break shit Headlight out. We got the old bulbs right there. That's the old one. Got the new piece, and it comes with the new uh, bulbs. So I'm just gonna unhook the old ones, toss those, and hook up these new ones. Check out that difference. It's got a little plastic cover that I need to remove. It's gonna give it a different look. And that's gonna give it a big difference. I'm gonna check out the lights, see if they work. See if I hook them up all the way. Installing the grill, the bumper, and the wheel well trim, and the hood trim. So pretty much just reverse the process guys. Pretty straightforward. Go back to the beginning of the video if you forgot how to install everything back up. And yeah, let's see how, uh, how it looks at the end with everything back installed. I'm go ahead and start with the grill. Finally done installing these new headlights guys let me show you the end results there you have it, it looks a whole lot nicer makes a big difference when you have new headlights the next thing that I'm ordering is the bottom lip the lower valence uh, lip and new fog lights I'm gonna get tint done 
and uh, I've been looking into some hoods. They sell some badass hoods for these. They sell the RT type hoods. They look very aggressive, makes them look nice. So let me know what you guys think. To me, in my opinion, it looks very clean. Looks a whole lot better than those, uh, the other Ashy headlights. And then black, it just complements the whole color of the look. It completes it. Looks better. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. What else I should do to this one. Y'all stay tuned for the cam hole. There's some changes coming soon for that one. So y'all stay tuned, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the thumbs up. Day, we found some brisket thank god we can go ahead and start the pit so we can uh, get this brisket going 